What's up guys? So I know this video is probably a little long overdue as far as the toolbox organization goes, but we're getting ready to kick off part two of it. Uh, we're gonna knock out the wrench drawer. Um, what a terrible looking drawer. I mean, that, uh, it's probably the worst one I got, but uh, I've been doing, I've been doing a, a lot of studying, kind of seeing what was out there as far as weighing out my options and what I was gonna go with and things like that. Uh, chose a pretty good one, you know. I, I chose this company because, you know, you know, as a tech, you, as you grow, as your toolbox grows, as you get more tools, you know, I wanted a company that, or an organization system that was going to grow with me and things like that. You know, I'm tired of doing this every two, three years, kind of having to re-go through my toolbox or buy a bigger toolbox. You know, thinking I don't have enough room. Hence the huge toolbox that I own. Um, but you know, every three years or so, you know, I start to get disorganized. You know, the tools where I laid them out two years ago don't work out the same way as best what they did years ago. You know, it might have worked for me a couple years ago, but it doesn't really work for me now. So, uh, company called Toolbox Widget. I'm sure most of you guys out there heard of them. Great company, um, based in the U.S. Guys, actually, uh, Marine, uh, U.S. Marine. Pretty cool guy. I was able to get my hands on uh, some widgets show you guys here real quick but uh we're gonna knock out this wrench drawer guys so I got about 14 boxes I'm hoping that's gonna be enough but this is what they come in the packing you could actually feel the strength of the magnet they stick the boxes stick to each other you could feel the strength of the magnet on this uh, <clears throat> module wrenching system but here's the packing for it each of them uh, each box will hold up uh, the 14 wrenches looks like he gives you a uh, a cool sticker with every box and then here's the modules you could feel the pull I got a, a stainless steel top here coated with the rhino lining and it you know it has no problem sticking to it each magnet has a five pound pull and then they got uh, they they break down each little section you got two set two individual sections and then single individual visual sections and then they just kind of slide together like that and you could go as long as uh, as long as you have to, as long as the drawer will hold. Just keep on adding to it. So pretty much one box would pretty much take care of a set, you know, eight to uh, eight to nineteen things like that. I'm sure they probably thought about that. This guy's uh, this guy's actually really smart, really cool guy. This is uh, innovative stuff uh, for toolbox organization. Uh, he's actually got. A lot of new product in the work. I know there's a there's a version two of these coming out. I believe I believe I got the last of version one, um, but I really like these. I had to check them out for myself. Show you guys. You know, it's it's not only for you know you home mechanics or DIYers or weekend warriors. You know, it's actually you know it could be for every, any mechanic out there. You know, master technicians, guys at the dealership, guys at independent shops. You know, this is going to be perfect for me. It's got the uh, the bright orange tool in the missing tool indicator to let you know you, you know you're missing a wrench that's gonna glow bright at you so you know you're missing one. But great product, guys. I'm gonna leave uh, I'm gonna leave a link to his website in the description, toolboxwidget.com. So real quick, guys, just wanted to show you this module system. Like I said, it's got single units. Um, I'm pretty sure these cutouts are going to be for uh, pieces that you could put in there. So when you got uh, you know your size in there, you could put on here what size it is. So that way, if you you got a downward look at it, um, you could you could tell when you go to reach for them, you know what size you're grabbing and all that. Um, hence the word module. But just wanted to show you here, it fits pretty much all your sizes of wrenches. I got eight millimeter here, fits in there no problem all the way up to a 34 drop in there no problem you can see it holds in all the sizes in between so if you're comparing them to 
you know, the way I used to use them, kind of in my cervix cart, with the, you know, the double-sided sticky tape stuff, you know, a little bit of brake clean and, and, and oil and grease hits this, you know, this stuff don't last. You know, it starts to peel off, get all gunky. You know, and then with these, you gotta have, you know, they gotta sit side by side with the toolbox widget. You know, one single one will pretty much handle it, you know, no matter where it's at. You could even do it at the end here. You know, it keeps them all stand up and in a row organized. You know, when you got these, you got to set up two in a row. I actually got a new one of these. I bought a bunch of these and I ended up setting them up and I never even used them because I didn't like them. But you got to set these up side by side here. And look, I go to put a 34 in there and it doesn't even fit. I don't know if you guys are catching that, you know, it doesn't even fit in there really. I mean, barely. You could get it in there kind of sideways there, but it's not, it's not even on there, you can see. With the widget, you know, it stands up a little high, but at least, but at least it's in there. You know, it ain't going anywhere. So, but these, you know, old school method. Yeah, I mean, I guess it worked out or whatever, but, you know, for extreme organization, these just ain't going to cut it. And then I got, just wanted to show you guys too, with the specialty wrenches, you know, obviously they got a little bit of a bend on them and all that stuff it'll still work. You know, you got a high enough drawer, stick them in like that, side by side, you know, they or even in the middle, however you want to do it, you know, it still keeps them together. So they'll even work with your uh, S-type wrenches. As far as, the, as far as the half moons, you know, it, it's, a, it's a little bit rougher, you know, it's, it's really not going to work out with the half moons, but nothing really holds these anyways, even, even these you know, never really held the uh, half moons. These are more of a, these are more of a lay down wrench anyways. And then you got the tiny double box end, fits in there perfect. Here's a couple of the double box end wrenches. Fits in there just fine. All right guys, so here's the drawer. Here's my wrench drawer and what it looks like the before shot, you got kind of wrenches stacked everywhere. Got my double box in just sitting on top of the set of gear wrenches I got, metric and standard. Got my line wrenches all on top. I got my thin wrenches just still in the bag, laying on top, stacking everything. Disorganized, pretty much don't know where anything's at in here. I got to constantly, uh, you know, every time I shut it, I got to readjust them and all that stuff. So we're going to get all these out of here, kind of do the same, get them up on the uh, workstation and then go through it, set you guys up on the tripod and uh, see if we could get this drawer looking right. Thanks to Toolbox Widget.
All right, guys. So another 40 minutes to an hour, 45 minutes to an hour. And that's what we're looking like. I got them all in there straightened out. I could actually see them and reach them now. Nothing stacked. I'm able to get my uh, crazy bent ones and couple of the dead spots. Um, I could always tweak this later as I add more wrenches. You know, tweak this around, maybe open these up. Actually think about taking these home. I don't need doubles in here. I like, uh, you know, maybe three, four, five different kinds of the same wrench, but all different styles. You know, box end, half moons, S style, ratchet, non ratchet, stubby, stubby ratchet. But there we go. I like how these things could stretch across the whole drawer and you could kind of put every one of them on there, like the long ratchet, the regular ones, the stubby, stubby ratchet, and then the regular stubby. You could kind of get it all in a row there and then just kind of fill in the dead spots. I got the super thin ones, thin wrenches here. They also, these, these, they fit perfect. These widgets fit perfect. Pretty much, here's the S style ones. They ain't going anywhere. Standing up now, I'm able to get right at them. And then I could kind of just move everything around as I need them. The more popular wrenches, you know, due to one side or whatever, but I think it turned out pretty good. Got the wrench door taken care of. Like I said, I'm gonna be uh, I'm gonna be tweaking the wrench door to kind of make it, you know, perfect. See how it is. I'll work out of it for a few weeks. See what works for me. But toolbox widget, guys. If you guys are looking into wrench organization. Check these guys out. They're uh, also talking about doing uh, socket organizer. Maybe I'll do something with that because that socket drawer is next on the list. And then also that's module. So there'll probably be parts coming out for that. Like I said, so you could see in clear view what sizes you got on there and you know snap them in there and all that stuff but great company guys uh, you guys got to check them out if you haven't already get organized because that, that's going to make you more money in the end you know half the battle is finding the tool for the job and i know I, it, I have that issue sometimes you know it takes me longer to find the tools than it does to act, do the actual job so you guys got these widgets already leave down in the comments how they worked out for you i'll leave the link in the description like i said to their website very innovative toolbox organization stuff that i've been waiting for i don't know if you guys are into toolbox organization like i am but i like to be able to find my tool when i need my tool to get the job done faster like i said big shout out to toolbox widget great guy he's a u.s marine combat marine and uh hats off to that you know i i'm, I'm big on uh supporting troops and everything else i'm big on supporting u.s staying local he actually uh employs uh, veterans to box, uh, box the toolbox widget and shipping and all that stuff. So you can't beat that. I mean, great stuff. Go America. You guys follow me on Instagram at CasperTech54. We'll catch you guys in the next one. Signing out. And you guys know I can't end the video without uh, some uh, test slams and test uh, drawer. Let's test these suckers out. So we'll see how they are. The super thin ones, the ones I was kind of questionable about, kind of look where they were, the S-type, the bigger ones, definitely uh, still where they're at. Give it a quick shake. Not going anywhere, give it a quick slam or two. Maybe a better slam than that. I don't really like slamming my toolbox, but they do get shut pretty fast sometimes when I'm moving. Everything's still in place. Great stuff, guys.